Hey, what's up guys? This is a pocket PC. You only need to plug this one on a monitor with keyboard and mouse and you're ready to go. And it will instantly turn that one with Windows 10. Yes, this is small. If you think about desktop or laptop you, that you wanna bring with you and it's heavy, you might wanna think about this one as a solution. Another thing you can do, clear out some space on your desk. You might have a big tower PC doing just internet browsing, Word, Google Sheets, something like that. This will do the job for you. So let's go ahead and check the technical specifications. The processor is Intel Atom Quad-Core Z8350, model number W5 Pro, and we have this port for the HDMI. This supports 4K. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM, and on the side, we have two USB ports, then the power port, then we have the button to turn it on. This has a built-in Wi-Fi that supports 2.4 in 5 gigahertz. It has a built-in storage of 64 gigabyte, but with that slot that you have seen there, you can add up to 128 gigabytes. It comes with a dongle, as you can see here, so that if there's a complexity in plugging this one directly at the back, you can extend it with this cable. And of course, this supports a Bluetooth of 4.2 technology. Let's go ahead and try this one on the monitor and let's see how it really works. It's a very quick setup. I have a 24 inch monitor. Here's your packet PC. Let's plug it at the back of this monitor. Now it's time to plug in the keyboard in mouse and power it on. Okay, let's wait for that first boot. Okay, we have the logo of Windows right just there. So I'll just go ahead and a little bit adjust the brightness of the camera because the logo went white. All right, we have the good color. Okay, so we're going to wait for this one to load up. Okay, we're going to choose the language that we're going to use like any other new Windows machine. You need to set this one up before you can start using the Windows 10. We're going to select the region, then the keyboard layout, we are going to skip for now. Then internet, we are going to skip. We can connect that one later. Let's just do limited setup. Accept the Windows 10 license agreement. Who's going to use this PC? Type the name and then of course, go in for the password if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip. It will ask for privacy settings for your device. I always turn all of these things off. Just a moment, it's going to restart. Almost there. All right, there you go. We are running Windows 10 on our Windows 10 stick. It's working perfect. Lay. So I'm just going to adjust the brightness of the camera so that we can see a better view of the things that we're going to do here on our computer, Windows 10 stick. So I'll just jump into that task manager and go to more details here. Oh, it's 100%. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, just just give it time because maybe it's still loading up some background services. And as you can see there, um, the CPU usage is around 5, 4%, which is cool. We're not doing anything. Now, take note, guys, that this Windows 10 stick is good enough for doing some uh, lightweight tasks like emails, browsing the internet, doing some Word stuff or Google Sheet, Google Docs, something like that. But if you're thinking of doing it with Photoshop, or video editing, maybe probably games, but lightweight games, not like Call of Duty? No way, it's not going to work, man. Anyways, guys, if you wanna check out this item, I have an Amazon affiliate link down below. You can click that one and check out that item if you wanna try it. So I'll have a little bit of commission, even if you're not going to use or use that link, you're going to pay for the same price, so. It helps me out if you do use the link. Anyways, if you have learned something from this video, guys, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and see you in my next video. Come on. Yeah, bye.